Hello everybody, it is Saucy. I'm going to do a screen swap on the Lenovo ThinkPad T440p. I bought this screen from um, LaptopScreen.com. <laughs> Forgot the name. Um, this is an Interlux um, IPS Full HD screen and it is compatible with the ThinkPad T440p. First thing to do, of course, is turn off your computer. I recommend um, if to download the ThinkPad hardware maintenance mon manual for this thing just so you know you know what you're doing okay we still hear the fan gotta make sure it's turned off all the way all right sounds like it's off we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery let's see if it turns on okay battery is gone let's go ahead and remove the panel on this model you don't have any um, LCD LCD screws you just have the bezel so just push it up lightly push up uh, push outwards like that <laughs> And don't don't be too forceful. You don't you don't want to crack crack the uh, screen that that you're opening up. Okay, so there we go. We got it. You can see the uh, grooves. Okay, so next we're gonna, just going to need a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to go ahead and remove the four screws. One down there. One right here, one up here, and one over here. Now keep in note, I don't have a webcam on this model, so just make sure you don't you don't um, trip trip your webcam or you make it loose. All right, and now we're gonna get the screen. We're gonna flip it this way. We're gonna go ahead and. Detach this little guy, which is retained. Then you're gonna pull it back. There you go, old screen. Nothing wrong with that screen. It's just that I don't, I didn't like it. It was a 720p screen, and this is a 1080p IPS. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in here. Go ahead and just connect it like that, and then secure it. I'm pressing down all the way. Don't be too forceful on it. Then we're going to go ahead and make sure you align the, the little, there's little grooves over here that hold the, the, the LCD cable. So just make sure you have it uh, touching so that when you close, when you close the, um, or when you put back the LCD bezel, it's, it's not going to pinch it, which will be bad. Alright, let's go ahead and put the screws back in. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Make sure you put them in the screw holes and not in the little <laughs> um, holdouts that hold it. This is a pretty easy screen swap, by the way. Compared to other ThinkPads in the past, you had to remove a lot more than just this. Alrighty. And then what I like is that they have a little shielding for your screen. It's actually a matte panel underneath, which is pretty sweet. So go ahead and get rid of that. And now you're gonna go ahead and put your your bezel back on. Not too much force, make sure it's aligned. I wasn't aligned over there earlier.
You won't get it the first try, but you'll definitely get it second or third. You might have to press back here to make sure that you don't you don't bend the panel. Alrighty, little check to see if we have any any lines or anything. Looks like we don't. Looks good over here. Let's go ahead and connect the battery. And last but not least, we do the power on test. Oh. There we go. And we now have an IPS panel on a T440P. Here we go. I actually had to restart the computer. The screen was just black. There was nothing there. I didn't freak out. I just waited for a minute. I pressed the power button just like that. And then I let the mach machine just restart. But here we have the panel working good. Um, it is an Inolux N140HCE EAA. It looks beautiful. The angles, you can't really tell by the video because it's, it's video. <laughs> but there, there are very, very, very nice viewing ang angles compared to the, the regular H HD panel. So definitely recommend this thing. My T440P is uh, just a standard model with an i5 and it has Intel uh, f um, graphics HD 4600 I believe so base, pretty much base spec model I saved a lot of money by getting this panel from laptopscreen.com I am uh, quite happy with this thing so I'll see you guys around thank you